Hi, I'm Christina with Tina Girl Life, and today I'm going to show you these cute little house models. But I'm actually going to interview my daughter because she's the one who puts them together. So let's chat with her. <laughs> Before we start chatting with Rebecca, I want to show you what we're talking about here. I want to show you the outside of the box and in a bit I'm going to show you what to expect inside this box. So this kit is made by a company called Rolife. It's a DIY project, which means you're building and assembling the whole project. It's for ages 14 and up, and I would have to agree with that for the most part. There are lots of small pieces and it can be quite fiddly, but if you like models, you're going to love this project. On the back here, it's just talking about what kind of battery you're going to need and the main materials that are included in this kit. This is my daughter, Rebecca, and she spends hours and hours working on these beautiful little houses. And she's gonna give us some tips and talk about what's involved in putting them together. Rebecca, how long does it take you to build one of these little homes? Um, for this one, I think it took about maybe 15 hours. There's a little, like a couple little things that I did differently than it said in the instructions to do. Show um, me. To kind of make it my own. Like I put in a popsicle hardwood floor, and a washi tape black splash, which is just like Japanese stationary tape. And I did my own layout. Like there's a lot of freedom to kind of do whatever you want. Anything you reg regret? Um, I would have built this part first and then placed things inside as necessary. Um, instead of okay, like- Okay, wait, we have, to, we have to show why there's this little monster in the house here. That's my grandson and Rebecca's little boy, Luca. Hi, Luca. <coughs> and he's just the age where he gets into everything. So when I'm building, I build, like in the instructions, it'll say kind of from the inside out by building like all the tiny little pieces that are like little pots with little flowers and little jars and little books and stuff. But I think that it's more efficient to build from the outside in. So start with your base structure and get that all done and then make the little things that go inside um, so you don't have a little completely done like books and vases and stuff like that. So that's what I did with this one is I just started from the outside in and then I started putting in the little things and making them afterwards so I didn't have them just floating around my house. This is the instruction book that comes with the kit. And let's flip this open. So as you can see, it's very detailed. It's showing you how to build the bookshelf, the piano, the table, the piano stool, all the little details. Look at the coffee mill. It even shows you how to make that. All the plants. So it comes with the paper to make all the plants. So you can see it is fussy and you're going to need some some tools for that like needle nose pliers and things like that. On the back it shows you the basic layout. Let's have a look at how far Rebecca has gotten with her little coffee shop here. So as she said earlier it's better to actually build the structure first and then start putting things in. So she's got the piano built and the little coffee bar and look at these little books. Aren't they cute? The books actually have little pages. It's quite amazing. She's got the shelves. I can just see the little cups and all the things that are going to be going on there. What a fun project to build. The other thing that I would probably do different is the glass um, gets fingerprints on it quite easily, especially like with the glue that they send you. Um, so I'd be a little bit more careful um, when you put that part together. This is a kit for the Happy Corner Flower Shop that Rebecca just got. She hasn't even started it yet and I'm the first one to open it. So this is what you can expect to find inside the box when you get it. So there's the instruction book right on the top. And I like the way they lay everything out in separate bags. So when you wanna start building something, you look in the instruction book and it will tell you the corresponding bag to find the pieces that you need to build the item. So as you can see, it's all kinds of bags full of all kinds of different things. 
I bought the first little row life miniature house for Rebecca at a cool little store in Coombs on Vancouver Island. It's called the Old Country Market. You can check it out on my other YouTube channel called Tina Girl Travels. So I have a whole video on this amazing little store. There are goats roaming around on the roof. And um, other than that place, I've never seen these little miniatures in any other stores. So I'll add a link below in the description for you to check out um, all of these cool little buildings. And there's even a fun little trailer that you can build. So I'll add a link to that below as well. So you can see all of these packages have absolutely everything you're going to need to build your own little cute miniature house. Uh, what I like about it is that it's different than just like a puzzle because it's also a puzzle and a craft and it has no means to anything. It's just for fun and I don't think that we do enough things as adults that are just for fun. Um, so I think that they're really great. They're a great thing to do. So this company, Rolife, is actually a sub-brand of a bigger company called RoboTime. So their focus is design and manufacturing DIY puzzles and educational toys for kids and adults. So the company says that they advocate the concept of a slow life to help people find a better way to free themselves from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. They provide creative items that are easy to assemble and therapeutic for reducing stress. I just love that. What a great motto. So there are some really cool miniatures available, like I said, from bakeries to bedrooms, kitchens and dining rooms. There are so many cool ones to choose from. Um, here's the trailer I was telling you about. You can also order a dust cover if you're worried about keeping your miniature room clean and dust free. Here are a few other cool items this company offers. So I feel like once you get started on these projects, you might just want to keep going. So these are called the modern 3D wooden puzzles and they also have music boxes, which is this one here. They're so pretty. This is the first project that Rebecca did. It was a greenhouse filled with the coolest little details. And the only thing that I wish when I was looking at it was that the roof was removable so that you can really get a good look at all the details inside. So maybe if you're building this one, keep that in mind. I really don't think it would be that hard to make the roof removable so that you can just lift it off. Check out all those little plants inside and the floor. Oh my gosh, it's just so cute. So there's tons of really cute ones available. I'm going to add a link below in the description so you can check them out. Thanks so much for watching Tina Girl Life. I will see you next time.